Welcome to this short video about configuring and using the Hugging Face Connector for a machine learning model. What we're going to do today is have a brief introduction about what we're going to cover, talk a little bit about a customer sentiment example, and I want to call out that there's another video about streamlining your processes by automating human tasks with machine learning models, which is complementary to this. And then we're going to configure and use the connector in a customer sentiment example, and then there'll be a brief summary at the end. So let's talk a little bit first about customer inquiries. So customer inquiries that come in through various methods, maybe it's through a text or response to a text, or it's through an input mechanism on one of your product pages, or it might be an email, but inquiries or customer comments can come in through a variety of ways. And it's important to know how to handle those. And a lot of that might be determined by if a comment is negative about a product, it might be if positive comment about how a product is, is really hitting the mark and someone really likes it. It might be more of a question or I'm not sure if it's a positive or negative comment. Usually companies have a way of routing that to a proper department because you may want to have specific departments or areas of expertise handle the type of comment that comes in. For example, if a positive comment comes in, you may want to thank the customer. You might want to look at, hey, you said you like this product. Would you possibly want to look at these similar products or maybe expand out and get some different products. If it's a negative comment, you definitely want to reach out and say, I'm really sorry you had a bad experience or you didn't like the product. Listen to what they're trying to tell you, but they didn't like and maybe provide a solution or even a path to a solution to help them out. And then there's a situation where you really just don't know what the comment was. It might have been a question. It might have been, I didn't like the website because I couldn't find something, but you might want to clarify with them what they were asking or what they needed help with and be sure to um, then route it to the proper department or deal with it at that point. So we're going to take a very simple workflow example where a comment comes in. We're going to mimic an input mechanism by just putting a comment on a form, but a comment comes in and a human reviews that and then based upon their decision if it's positive negative or neutral it'll be routed to the proper department and we're going to replace that with a hugging face connector in our workflow that will use a customer sentiment machine learning model to look at the comment made by the customer and the confidence that that model has that that comment was positive negative or neutral and make a determination where to route it instead of having a human involved so I'm going to show you the process briefly with a human making the decision. Then I'll show you how to configure and implement the Hugging Face connector. We'll review some of the Hugging Face models and figure out which one we're going to pick. And we'll set up the connector in the Kamunda diagram. And then we'll do a quick test to see how it does with positive, negative, and neutral comments. Let's get started. Let's take a quick look at the process where we want to add a Hugging Face connector to do what's currently a human task. This is a very simple diagram where a customer comment comes in as an initiation of the process. The next thing that happens is an individual reviews that sentiment. So someone in a department for certain hours of the day whose sole purpose is to review comments to determine if they're positive, negative, or neutral. And based upon that clarification, the comment will be routed to the appropriate department to take the appropriate actions. For example, if it's a positive comment, you'd like to thank the customer for being a customer or thank them for the positive comment. Maybe look at cross-selling or upselling different products. If it's a negative comment, you want to spend some time understanding what they did or didn't like about things, how you might get on a path to a solution. And if you're not sure, you might want to go to somebody who specializes in clarification of those items and call the customer back and just ask them some further questions. So here's just a simple example. So let's run this and see what we're looking at before we go into automating this particular customer sentiment review step. So what I have done in this case is the initiation is a form. It really would be an email or a, a, a Twitter comment that someone reads in or a Slack message or a text message or something. But in this case, it's, a, it's actually going to be a form that we're going to use to put a comment in. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to launch that form, fill in the comment. So in this case, I'm going to fill in, let's use a, a positive comment. We'll put that in here as the comment. So I love these boots. I could, could order one in every color and I'll submit that. So that's been submitted. If I check on this particular process in Comunus operate tool, we can see where something is in the process. 
we'll see that the, that the diagram was indeed launched. We have the common, I love these new boots. I could order one in every color. And right now it's sitting in a step for a human to take the comment and make some decisions about it. So let's open up what this looks like for a human to take action upon this comment. So I presented with the customer's comment. I need to determine what the comment is, positive, negative, or neutral. In this case, I really feel like I love these boots. I could order one in every color. It's very positive. If I needed to make some further explanation about why I felt that was positive, I could add that here. And then I can complete that task. And in doing that, if I go back over here and watch this for a moment, you'll notice that I saw it was a positive comment. I rated it that way. So it pushed the comment to a thanks for being a customer task, which is what we would expect since it was a positive comment. And if I open that particular task up, it will say, here's the comment. Please take the appropriate measures to connect with the customer, thank them, etc. Look at cross-selling and upselling. So that gives you an idea about what this particular process looks like if a human is involved. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this particular piece out and replace it with a hugging face connector to the model that we're going to select to do the sentiment analysis for us instead of a human. First, you'll need an account with hugging face. So you need to go to the hugging face website and click sign up. Here you'll enter an email address. And then you'll create a password for that account. Once you've created your account, you're going to need to create a new token or new access token, which you can find under your profile. So you'll want to go to the access tokens and you're going to say create new token and you're going to pick the kind of token that you want to create. And in this case, you can use read because you're just going to be reading information from the repository and just give it a name and say create token and it will give you a specific key. You want to make sure that you copy that key and store it somewhere because you're going to use that in your configuration to set up your secrets to access through the connector with Komunda. Now, in this case, we're looking for a model that we can use to determine the sentiment of a comment, whether it's a positive comment, a negative comment, or something else. So there's a couple ways you can do that. In this case, if I just go to models, in Hugging Face, you'll see that the models are grouped by various tasks. In this case, we're looking for NLP, or Natural Language Processing. You're looking for text classification, a way to classify the text, whether it's by topic or, in this case, we're, we're classifying by sentiment. If I click on text classification, I can then say I want to look at something related to sentiment. And if I do that, I'll find some examples. And you, want, you might want to review these, see which ones make the most sense. For this demonstration, we're going to be using this particular model. One of the things that's really important about looking at the model is to understand how it's going to perform and how information is going to come back to you. So if we look here, this just gives you an example of how it might compute. So if we put in love these new boots and we say compute, one would assume that would come back with a very positive score. This is the actual confidence level or this, the score that's 98% confident that that's a positive comment. We could also say very cheap materials. Uh, not sure I like these and try to compute that and I'll get that that's most likely a negative comment. It's very important to understand if the model is going to work for your scenarios to be confident that you want to use that model. The next thing you want to be sure you understand is your link to this particular model. What it's expecting as input for the model and in this case you're just going to send it a specific piece of text and you want to understand what data is coming back to you. So if you click on this JSON output, that's the data that's going to come back from the Community Connector. So we're going to get a label and a score. In this case, you're going to get all three scores. You'll get the, the, the positive, the negative, and the neutral score. And they put them in order from highest to lowest. So in this case, this comment, very cheap materials, not sure if I like these, is a negative comment. It scored the highest. It's going to be the first return that you're going to get back. So based upon these particular labels or classifications, we can then determine how to route our comments. So now you have the model you want to use, you have what you're going to pass the model to be used, and then you're, you have information about what's going to be returned in the JSON output so you know what to do with that next in order to incorporate it into your Komunda process. 
as we discussed, we're going to replace this current human step with a Hugging Face connector to a sentiment analysis machine learning model in Hugging Face. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to change this to the Hugging Face connector. So it's just updating our model to use the Hugging Face connector. As you see, all the required components to connect this diagram to Hugging Face are provided. Let's go through these piece by piece. As you remember, when we went into our profile in Hugging Face, we created a special API key and I said, be sure you copy or save that key because we're going to need it later. This is where that key is going to go. However, what we're going to choose to do is we're going to store that in something that we call connector secrets, which are available at the cluster level. So we're going to create a new secret and you can call this anything you want. And then you're going to paste in that value that you got when you created the key in the Hugging Face profile. So you're going to paste that in. You'll see that I've already got one here, so I'm not creating a new one, but you would go create that. You'd put in whatever you're going to call it and you would say create to create that key. So you need to remember what you called it. In this case, I use lowercase Hugging Face underscore capital K-E-Y. We're going to go back over here and we're going to put that into the model. We're going to take that and we're going to paste that into the model. And you didn't see this, but I actually typed in an equal sign and I did that so that this would know that it's a field expression and the text should change color. In this case, it's changing to red to let you know that the field expression that you put in for this value is indeed a valid field expression. Now we're going to need to put in the model that we selected to use. So if you remember, we did that search to determine what model we want to use and we picked a specific model for sentiment analysis. Again, I'm going to put in the equal sign and the name of the model in double quotes. So once again, just putting in that information that we got from Hugging Face for the model that we're going to use. And we talked before about what's going to be the input. So if you remember, if you go back to this particular initiation of the workflow and we look at the form, there's a customer comment that's being created as part of that form. We're storing that in a variable and that variable is called customer comment. That's the input that's going to go into our model. So if we go back to our diagram and over here, so what we're going to do there is we're going to want to make sure that we say that the input is customer comment. So once again, that text is changing color because it's telling me it's a valid feel, F-E-E-L expression. Now the next thing that's most important is how we're going to look at the results returned from the model. If you remember, there was a JSON section that had each individual sentiment and the score that was associated with each one of those. We want to make sure that we're getting that information to use as we move through the rest of the model. I'm just going to copy in some JSON. And in this case, we're going to really only use the first two pieces of information, the customer sentiment and the customer score. So the sentiment is going to be the label, positive, negative, or neutral. And the score is going to be what that confidence level is, how much the model feels strongly that that is the proper classification or sentiment for this comment. The other two we're going to store, but they're not going to be used in the model. Right now, we're just looking at the comment sentiment for a particular comment. But let's also take into consideration the strength of the model and how confident they are that their prediction or their classification of that sentiment is correct. So let's look at this negative branch. Let's say that we want to make sure that the comment sentiment is obviously flagged as negative, but we also want to make sure that the score is greater than 55, which means that we're at least 55% confident that this was a negative comment. We're going to do the same thing on the positive comment. We want to say that, that the comment sentiment was positive and the score is over 55. Then we're going to change it up a little bit for our neutral or our not sure route. And we're going to say that we want the comment sentiment to be neutral, but we also want the comment score to be less than or equal to 55. So this would mean that it might have been considered positive, but we gave it a score of 40. It's going to go down the neutral path or the unclassified path because we're, we're setting a threshold that the comment score needs to be at least 55%. Or if we just say it's neutral, then it's going to go down this path. So we want to just give this one a little bit different flavor in how we're routing to the neutral or unclassified path. So essentially we've set up this entire workflow now. We have the model being called from our Hugging Face connector to go and determine the sentiment of a comment that we're passing in. And then based upon the results of that, we're going to route this either to negative, to positive, or to, to neutral. 
Now that we have our workflow ready to use and we've configured our machine learning model to do our sentiment analysis for customer comment routing, let's deploy this and see how it works. So I have our model here. We're just going to do a quick deploy. Do you want to make sure you're deploying it to the cluster where you have defined that hugging face key? And in the case of this particular diagram that I'm using, we've got this set up so that we can use an external form to launch that I have ready over here. So let's put in a pretty simple starting point. We'll just say great boots and we'll submit that. So once I do that, if I go over here and I look at my sentiment analysis in our operate tool so we can see the process taking place, you'll notice this is how fast this was. It went from being submitted to the sentiment analysis and it thanks for being a customer. This is what we want to look at here. You'll notice here that the comment score was in 0.9958 that this was a positive comment, great boots. So it's that quick in determining that information. So it passed the greater than 0.55 threshold and it passed the comments was positive. So if I go back over to my task list, I'll see that that's been routed to, thanks for being customer. Here's my great boots comment. And I would take the appropriate actions that are requested here to connect with the customer, thank them, review their needs and talk about cross selling or upselling different products with them. Now let's try to take that down a negative path. I have another form open here. So I'm going to try a negative comment this time. Once again, going back over to operate, looking at my processes, you'll see that one's in, in play right now. And it's quickly been transferred to the negative path with a 0.7436 confidence score that it's a negative comment. In that case, I'll have a follow up to improve perception request that comes into my inbox saying, here's the comment that the feel that the boots are of lesser quality. And now I know what I need to do is to reach out to the customer, ask them to explain their experience, better understand it and try to improve the relationship. Now, finally, let's look at what happens if we were to look at a comment that either is not really positive or negative or one that doesn't meet the 0.55 threshold. So let's put a comment in here. It says, could you make something with more heel? Once again, we go back over to our operate tool. We look at our dashboard. We'll notice it's down here in this particular step. Let's look at what happened. This particular comment was classified as neutral with a strong 0.9065 score. So we would, in this case, get a task that said, please review so we can now follow up with the customer and find out what that actually should be. Let's take one more shot at this and try a comment that may or may not be considered positive or negative. And let's submit that. We'll go back over to our operate tool to see what happens with that particular workflow instance. And if we check that instance, we'll see that it's being classified by Hugging Face at this time. And it fell down to the path of neutral unclassified, but let's look at why. The highest comment score was 0.49, which if you recall is below our 0.55 threshold. So it's considered maybe positive, but could be neutral, could be negative. It's a toss up between a comment being positive or neutral. This is a situation where you'd want to make sure we followed up with the customer and understood what their comment meant and what we could do to help them. But it shows you that although it wasn't classified as neutral, it still falls in the path of the neutral unclassified because it didn't meet the threshold for the score. So now you've seen how you can streamline a process by automating tasks that might have been done by humans, for example, with a machine learning model. You've also learned how to configure the Hugging Face connector and how to use it for something like natural language processing, in this case, specifically sentiment analysis. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed our video.